Uh, it's great to see you again. And a uh, huge week, obviously, needless to say. Um, how's the team looking going into this just big tournament? Seven guys uh, going to the national. Yeah, um, you know, I think we're looking pretty strong. We're all uh, pretty excited for the upcoming, upcoming event. Uh, you know, a lot of our guys have been before, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and we have, you know, two new faces who have never been. So everyone's excited for their, in, the, in their own way, you know. Mm -hmm. some, some people excited to, you know, kind of, you know, make amends for last time. You mm -hmm. know, a couple of our guys didn't get it done last year, including myself. Uh, then you got people, you know, trying to make a stage for themselves, like uh, like Brett and, uh, and and Vince, and you know you got Yanni out here trying to solidify his his legacy, right? So mm -hmm. everyone everyone's got something to do, and we're all we're all really you know excited and looking forward to get the chance to do that. Yeah, and for you, dude, like um, another EIWA champion, uh, go in, great seed. Uh, what do you know about these other guys? Obviously, they and you've wrestled in the past, freestyle stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, you know him pretty well, uh, RBY mm -hmm. at the top, but I think you match up very, very well with all these guys um, to, to take this thing home. So uh, just tell us about the bracket and uh, obviously three seed going in. Yeah, so um, first round I'll have a kid from Columbia um, mm -hmm. who I wrestled earlier in the season, uh, which was a, was a, you know, not an easy match. Uh, so the kid's tough, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Uh, I feel really ready for this tournament. So I have uh, the Columbia kid, and then I am not too sure who I have second round. Uh, but I'm going to – there's a possibility in the third round that I have a rematch with uh, Latona, mm -hmm. which will be fun because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really like to, to leave those up in the air. Uh, wasn't feeling too – there were, there were a couple of things going on uh, in the duel, and not to make excuses, but that won't happen again. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, then I'll have uh, Fix. And, yeah, I have wrestled Fix um, a couple times. Uh, most recently was, uh, you know, we wrestled, at, yeah, at the Olympic trials in 21 mm -hmm. um, in the semis. And, you know, I won that match from my, my neutral offense. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how top bottom, you know, goes into, into this match. Cause I've never wrestled him in folk style per se, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty confident on my bottom, pretty confident that I can ride pretty good on top and you know, I'm pretty confident in my neutral. So I'm yeah. pre pretty confident all around. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've wrestled RBY as well. Um, but nothing too recent. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we've, uh, rolled around it at, at camp getting ready for uh to send the guys to the olympics it was a a, a national team camp at penn state and you know we got a little roll in i like roman i i i honestly like uh you know roman and dayton as people but going into this you know we're obviously uh at ends with each other so we could be friends after um but no, I think I match up pretty well with uh, RBY as well. You know, we both have kind of the same style, and it just comes down to probably you know, who's going to be a little sharper, who's going to be a little faster, who's going to, you know, fight through those positions a little harder. So, uh, it's going to be a test of willpower out there. Yeah, and I think you said it best. You know that this time of year, all friendships are, are put aside, put on pause. Yeah. And then you go out there and, and take care of business. And um, you know, for you, uh, you know, last year. You know, obviously it was a it was a seesaw between you and Glory. Took care of him here at EIWA, so we're here at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know, lost in the semis, came back. You, you battled for third and got a great job down there to be an All American again. Um, this year, um, you, you know what to expect. Obviously, you've been in the tournament several times. Um, wh what do you think that you need to do differently this year um, to go even further than that third place? Uh, you know, I I've uh, I've made adjustments from last year to this year, you know. Uh, one point that I, one thing that I, I feel proud of is my ability to, to, you know, constantly get better, right? Uh, I'm, I very, very rarely do I feel like I'm stagnant, right? So I feel like I'm constantly, you know, learning uh, new things. Could be nutrition, could be, you know, mental, mental game, could be, you know, new, new technique. Um, so I feel like I have, I feel like every 
almost every time I step on the mat is the best version of myself. Uh, so I'm real confident, you know. I uh, have a couple couple new things from, from last year. You know, I have a, a good grasp on my nutrition. I have a good, uh, good concept of what I want to do physically and mentally. Um, and, you know, the definitely a large difference between last year and this year is I'm not, you know, really fighting my weight, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, a lot of times it, it was just me versus the scale, right? It's just, am I going to feel good when I go out there and wrestle or am I going to be 50%? And, you know, for a lot of matches, 50% was enough. But to be the best in the country, you can't, can't limit yourself like that, right? So uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt me like it did last year. Uh, I'm gonna be able to go out there and demonstrate, you know, the full capability of, of what I can do as a wrestler, uh, which, you know, some people may not have seen before, you know? So I'm, I'm excited to go out there and kind of put on a show. Well, we can't wait to see it this week. And, uh, uh, it's going to be fun, you know, if you're traveling out here in the next couple of days uh, out in Tulsa. Um, one of my last quick questions, you know, is uh, you, you said it best before we even started today, is that it's been a fun year oh, yeah. for you guys. And Ivy League champions again, you got WA champs, um, seven guys, you know, going, it's amazing, mm -hmm. uh, to this tournament. Um, you know, what is it about the camaraderie uh, of this club that, you know, the squad that uh, is really, uh, it's showing out on the mat. I think when you, you're enjoying it more, uh, you perform more, you perform better. Yeah, so I'm, you know, with uh, with my my uh, knowledge in, in freestyle, right, I get to go to camps kind of all over and, you mm -hmm. know, we get to visit different, different schools and stuff, you know. So I get to see a lot of time, like how different teams interact as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to, National, national team camp and you see, you know, a couple guys come in from from here or we get to travel to different schools and for the season and, you know, see how other people interact and stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it we you, there is a different, you know, kind of vibe going on here where we are, for the most part, you know, all one close knit team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I consider all of my teammates my close friends. Right, uh, it's uh, it's just something about our dynamic. I think we we do a well a, a really good job of trying to incorporate that into our our, our tradition, our culture, uh, and you know, yeah, we just it's 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 really tight, and it I think helps us uh, kind of get things done, you know, in the room, out of the room. Uh, you know, keep each other accountable is a, is a large thing that Mike kind of preaches. Uh, and, you know, I think we, we do a good job of it. You know, if, if uh, someone misses lift or something, you know, our, our team make, makes sure that they know, you know, that you can't do that. You know, there's, uh, there's conditions to be here and we all accept that. And we all know that we all have a job and a place here. And, you know, there's a, a sense of camaraderie of, of brotherhood. So, yeah. And that self-policing is almost, you know, more important than the the exterior forces or the, the coach police. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just amazing holding to that standard. Well, Vito, we want to say thank you for talking with us. Awesome job this season, but I know there's more business to take care of, and um, we're looking forward to a great weekend for you. Of course. Thank you. All right.